Okay, welcome back everybody. It's Sunday. I got another batch of five players that I think you should be throwing some fab on here today on the Fabtastic Five. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, so if you hear some stuffiness in my voice, I apologize. Um, I'm going to try and be quick. Uh, first player I got is Yuri Perez, starting pitcher for Miami. He is 67% rostered on Yahoo and 33% on ESPN. Uh, he's pitched in two games. He's pitched 9.2 innings. He's got to win 13 strikeouts, three walks, three earned runs, a 2.79 ERA, 103 WHIP. This is a guy that is high, was highly regarded coming into the year as a prospect with an organization that has done a really good job at developing their pitchers. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt here. Um, I think he's definitely worth throwing some fab on. Kind of surprised he's only 67% rostered on Yahoo and 33% on ESPN. Uh, I'm pitcher heavy today as well. I got I got four pitchers for you. Uh, next guy here is Bailey Ober, starting pitcher in Minnesota. 66% rostered on Yahoo and 34 on ESPN. He's pitched in five games, 30.1 30 innings, 178 ERA, .96 whip, 28 strikeouts, 7 walks. I do expect the ERA and WHIP to maybe tick up a little bit, um, but he's been really good. 85th percentile chase rate, so um, I think that the strikeouts may also go up just a little bit. I mean, 85th percentile is really strong, um, and he's got less than a strikeout per inning right now. Um, but he's also doing a good job at limiting hard contact, 74th percentile hard hit rate, so maybe a reason why that ERA and WHIP are so low right now. Um, third guy, Josiah Gray, starting pitcher for the Washington Nationals. 56% um, rostered on Yahoo, 22% on ESPN. Um, nine games, 273 ERA, 135 whip. That whip is worrisome. Um, 45 strikeouts, 22 walks. That's where the inflated whip is coming from, just walking a lot of guys, and that is over 52 and two-thirds. Um, so like I said, the whips, uh, the walks and the whip are worrisome. Um Obviously, the walks are contributing to that whip, but the results are have been pretty good, um, and he as well is doing a good job job at limiting hard contact. 80th percentile on average exit velocity, 74th percentile on hard hit rate, 68th percentile on expected slug, so not a ton of hard contact. I just hope that he can kind of keep that going. Um, maybe he's not a high end pitching prospect anymore, but he is doing a pretty good job here at limiting hard contact. So that is Josiah Gray of the Washington Nationals. Ooh, I am so sorry. Um, Jose Barrios here is the guy that we have. 64% um, roster on Yahoo, 68 on ESPN, 52.2 um, innings pitched, 52 strikeouts, 12 walks, um, 461 ERA, and a 125 whip. So the results are a little bit underwhelming, um, but as of late, he has looked better. Uh, this is Jose Barrios again. Um, he's, I think he's going to be good for a good team. Um, I've bought into him the past couple of years. I thought he was going to be good last year. That blew up in my face, but this year, 64th percentile on average exit velo, so not outstanding, but better. 75th percentile in hard hit rate. Again, not the best, but it is better. And 79th percentile in walk rate. So as long as he can keep those walks down, keep limiting that hard contact, I do expect Jose Barrios to be good. I just kind of hope that that sinker or four seam, whichever fastball he goes with, works for him um, because sometimes it has just not looked great. Uh, Jaron Duran is the final guy here. So the first hitter for you. 60% um, roster on Yahoo, 21% on ESPN, and this kid just keeps hitting. Uh, three, 343 average, three home runs, seven stolen bases, 552 slug, and a 950 OPS um, in his first, first kind of month here in the majors. Uh, some things that stand out to me, things that I think he's worth a, you know, a fab bid, 93 percentile in sprint speed, 57% average exit velo, which isn't amazing, but it is pretty good, and the raw power looks like it's there when you look at his 79th percentile max exit velo. He also has a 73% hard hit rate and an 87th percentile expected batting average, so that high batting average is somewhat backed up. I, 
I don't think anybody thinks it'll be 343 for the whole year, but it is somewhat backed up by that 87th percentile expected batting average and as well an 83 percentile chase rate. So he's not really chasing a ton of pitches, kind of staying in his lane. He's uh, he's walking a little bit more than he has in the past, but that is Jaron Duran, Boston outfielder. That's all I got for you today, guys. Sorry, I am a little bit under the weather, so I did want to get through this quick. Um, but I will see you guys back here next week.